Hey there friends, it's Ms. Kern here. Today we're going to be talking about combining arrays. So first we're going to do a little review of arrays, then we'll get into our new stuff. So here I have some soccer ball stickers. You can see that if you peel off the back, you can make them stickers and you can stick them somewhere. So I have an array of them right now. I have four rows and I have three columns. So the first thing I'm going to do is write a multiplication sentence that shows that. Think to yourself, what multiplication sentence could I write for this array? So when we're writing our multiplication sentence, we want to make sure that the number of rows goes first. So I have four rows here. Now I'm going to multiply that by the number of columns. I have one, two, three columns. Okay, so here this array is represented by four times three. Now I'm going to find the total number of soccer ball stickers that I have. So if you know four times three, great. If not, you can use the picture to help you solve. I'm going to skip count by threes because there's three in each row. So I'm going to say three plus three more is six plus three more is nine plus three more is 12. I have 12 soccer ball stickers all together. Okay, now I have some other stickers. I have these joy stickers and I wanna do the same thing. I wanna find the array and the total number of stickers that I have. So I have one, two, three, four rows and one, two columns. So now I'm gonna write the multiplication sentence for this. What multiplication sentence could we write to represent this array. When we're writing our multiplication sentences for arrays, we wanna make sure that our rows goes first. So we have four arrays. And then we're gonna write our columns and I have one, two columns. So four times two is the expression or the equation that we can use to represent this array. Now I'm going to find the total. And there are a couple different ways we could do this. We could skip count by twos and say two, four, six, eight. Or we could do repeated addition and we could say four plus four equals eight. Either way you solved it, we got eight joy stickers. So we know that I have 12 soccer ball stickers and I have eight joy stickers. What if I wanted to find how many stickers I had all together? But I didn't want to start all the way over. I wanted to use what I already found to help me solve for the total. Well, I know that I have 12 stickers here and eight stickers here. I can just add them together. I'm going to put them all together in one group. So I have 12 plus 8, and that's going to give me a total of 20 stickers. You probably could have figured that out, though, because you know about addition properties. We have two groups. They're different sizes. But if we want to combine them, we can add them together to find the total. But did you know we can also add multiplication sentences? So if you look, we have two arrays that we've just pushed together to make one. And you can see that they both have four rows. So we can combine these two arrays into one big array. So we can add four times three plus four times two, and we can get our total. So 
when we do that, when we add equations like this, when we add 4 plus 3 to 4 times 2, we're going to add something so that we show that we need to solve these multiplication sentences first. So I'm going to add these things that you've probably seen before called parentheses. When we use parentheses in math, that just tells us, oh, we need to solve what's inside the parentheses first. So we would solve 12 times, or I'm sorry, 4 times 3, and we would solve that first, which we did, that equals 12. And then we would solve 4 times 2, because that's inside the parentheses. And we already did that, that equals 8. So then, once we've solved what's in the parentheses, then we can add these two numbers together because that's the operation that goes between the two parentheses. And we already did. 12 plus 8 equals 20. But now I'm wondering, because we were able to put these two arrays together to make one big array, can I write a new multiplication sentence? What multiplication sentence do you think we could use to represent this array? For this big array that we have now, we have one, two, three, four rows. And we can see that the number of rows matches. It stays the same. Now we're going to multiply by the number of columns. We have one, two, three columns of soccer balls and one, two columns of joystickers. So we can say three columns plus two columns equals five columns. We can see that because we have one, two, three, four, five columns. So we took these two different arrays and we put them together because they had the same number of rows. If they have a different number of rows, we can't combine them. So because we had 4 times 3 and 4 times 2, we could add those together and we could get 4 times 5. This 4 stayed the same, but our 3 and our 2 added together to make 5 in this multiplication sentence. So what we just did was combine two arrays to help us find the area of, or the total of the larger array. Now, in the rest of the slides, you're going to get a chance to practice this on your own. Good luck!